How to use the MS-20 Mini, Part 2. Part 2 will cover the envelope generator in detail. First, start with the normal setting that was created in Part 1. Let's keep it very simple. In the normal setting, this determines the time change for the volume. Hold time is located at the very top. Set this value to zero for now. Although we frequently say ADSR, this means attack time, decay time, sustain level, and release time. Level, this is a very important point. The duration of sustain is actually determined by the player. Then what does sustain level do? It determines the level of volume while the key is pressed. Let's increase the attack time a little bit. Now, the attack time has been raised up to 5. After exceeding the attack time of 5, the volume reaches its maximum. And then, the volume will decrease to sustain level of 5 immediately afterward. The time it takes from the end of the attack time to the sustain level is the decay time. Let's decrease the sustain level to 2, so that the difference can be easily heard. In this setting, the sound will cease as soon as the key is released. The release time parameter is used to determine the time it takes for the oscillator to fade out completely once the key is released. When you want to set up the envelope generator to make sounds, first, you'll have to determine the time change for the volume that you want. Let's apply this to the envelope generator to help make this process easily understandable. For example, in the case of an acoustic piano and an acoustic guitar. As soon as the strings are plucked, the sound is at its peak, and then the sound will begin to decay to zero. This is especially true for a piano. The overall volume of a piano while a note is being sustained will not remain at the same level. Although the note sustains for a while, the sound will eventually decay to silence. So, the sustain level is zero. To create a long fade-out while keys are being pressed, use the decay time parameter. Furthermore, acoustic pianos have a lingering sound, even after the keys are released. That lingering sound can be created by modifying the release time parameter. A little longer, perhaps. 